keeping current on the status and location of the assets within large organizations such as public works departments or transportation agencies is a challenging task. In this demonstration, you will see how Geomedia 3D, along with terrestrial point cloud data, can be used to improve your ability to accurately track location and condition of assets. As a starting point, let's use the building footprints feature and the associated height information we have stored in our GIS database to extrude the walls on our buildings in my demo area. Please note that complex 3D models can be used in place of these simple models to better represent building features as Geomedia 3D can easily handle the display of thousands of building models very effectively. Now let's access the GIS database again and stylize the street lamp feature so that it better reflects the model of street lamp used by this municipality in this area. With Geomedia 3D, you can leverage an inventory of 3D models and use GIS attribution to replace 2D point symbols with 3D representations to mimic assets in the real world. In this case, a hard-coded path is used to represent the asset. However, this could also be driven by GIS attribution that controls the linkage between GIS records and symbolization. In that situation, when GIS database updates occur, the Geomedia 3D representation automatically updates. I can add shadows based on time of day and day of year for a more realistic representation of my GIS data. This step is not really necessary for this demo, but I thought I would take the opportunity to show the capability should it be relevant to you for other projects. I'll zoom in to illustrate how shadows can be dynamically changed in real time. Notice that all of the GIS features represented in 3D participate in this analysis. You can adjust the shadows to get them just how you want them. Once we have everything set up how we want it, we can move to the next step. Now let's bring in the point cloud data. See how it overlays the GIS data nicely? Point cloud data is just another data type and is treated just as any GIS data would be. This is the new normal for Geomedia 3D. We can immediately see that the placement of the GIS lamppost features are off. This is not unusual for asset management systems that have been in operation for a long time. Now I have the ability to quickly verify and correct any deficiencies. I can simply adjust the GIS feature to line up with the point cloud information. Done. Here's another example. It is easy to notice that I have a street lamp captured in the point cloud data that is missing in my GIS. I can add a new one and feel pretty confident that my asset management system is accurate and up to date. Similar to how an asset location was updated using the Geomedia Vector Move command, features can be added to your GIS database using Geomedia Vector Insert and Placement commands. Remember, Geomedia Desktop uses data server technology to connect to a wide range of GIS data sources. In short, if you know how to make use of these facilities in Geomedia, you already know how to make these types of changes in Geomedia 3D. It's the same. Now that's what I call integration. Point cloud data can be used to complement your asset management system and let you quickly and easily compare the highly accurate point cloud data with your GIS assets to verify location and accuracy. I could also use it to confirm the condition of the assets with a little bit more analysis. Just a side note before I close. The point cloud data could be stored for use at a later date. I have only used it for lamppost location in this demo, but in the future I could just as easily use it to check the condition of the road signs on the highway or the guardrail. And I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but there was a break in the guardrail near the missing lamppost. That concludes the demonstration on Geomedia 3D Asset Management. Thanks for your time and have a great day. Thank you.